Hi, I'm Heather with First Pioneers Federal Credit Union, and welcome to the Money Tips No One Told You podcast. Here at First Pioneers, we love helping you understand your finances better and giving you the tools you need to be financially successful. Here, we're going to talk about financial terminology, how different accounts work, we're going to share tips that make your financial life easier, and so much more. Are you ready to dive in? Today, we're talking about the difference in a savings account and a checking account. It's actually a topic that comes up quite a lot for us, and it confuses some people. So we want to discuss the differences, how both can be beneficial for you, and some tips on how to choose the best account for you. Let's start with checking accounts. A checking account is a deposit account that you use for everyday spending. So for things like groceries and gas and even paying bills, your money in a checking account is safe and it's insured by the NCUA up to $250,000. The NCUA is the National Credit Union Administration and it's basically similar to the FDIC that you hear about for a bank. And of course, let's talk about how you can access your funds that are in that account. And there's several ways you can do that. Of course, you can shop with your debit card. You can use that card to withdraw cash at an ATM. You can also visit a teller at the credit union to deposit or withdraw funds. Some stores will actually allow you to do cash back at the register with a purchase as well. And anytime you use one of these options, the funds are taken directly from your checking account. So you want to make sure that you have the money in the account first. If not, you may end up being charged a fee and that would be for each transaction that's over your balance. So always make sure that you have the money in your account before you spend. One great thing about these accounts is that you can access them through our online banking right from your computer. There you can see your balances, you can pay bills, or you can even transfer money from one account to another. But your computer is not the only way to access your accounts. You can also use our mobile app on your phone or on your tablet. And the app has many of the same features as online banking, like seeing your balance or your transactions. Again, you can transfer money from one account to another, or you can use what's called Zelle to send or receive money. Zelle is what's called a peer-to-peer -peer service, and what it's meant to do is pay things like a friend for picking up dinner or for concert tickets or something like that. The idea is that you use Zelle and those types of services with people that you know you can trust. Now we've been talking a lot about ways you can spend money with your checking account, but you can also deposit into the account really easily. And it doesn't necessarily have to be just with a teller at the credit union. You can use what's called remote deposit capture and actually deposit a check using the app on your phone. Now, I know that sounds kind of like a long title, but you know, it's when you use your phone to take a picture of your check, you just follow the directions in the app and you make your deposit right there. And let's not forget direct deposit. I know we've talked about this before, but it's absolutely worth mentioning again. Simply visit your HR department and tell them you'd like to participate in direct deposit. I feel like just about every company around offers that option. And from there, you're going to give them your checking account information and they will deposit your paycheck directly into your account or even into multiple accounts if you wish. Some credit unions and banks even offer the option to receive your check in your account up to two days early. First Pioneers is one of those. We do that. But... It's only if you're using direct deposit, so it's worth checking into. So a checking account is a convenient, safe account for you to use in your daily life. Now at First Pioneers, there are four different accounts to choose from. We have a basic, 
economy, fresh start, and prestige. And each one of these has different features and different benefits. So it's really best that you look at each account type and see which one is gonna fit your needs the best. As you're considering these different account types, I have a few questions you may wanna ask. Does the account have a monthly maintenance fee? And if so, are there options to waive the fee? What is the minimum account balance requirement for the account? Ask about the overdraft policy, including the charges, and if there's anything available like an overdraft protection. You wanna get the particulars on how that works. Now this is not something you wanna rely on all the time, but it can be helpful for those times that, you know, something just happens and you end up overdrawn in your account. Look at the availability of ATMs where your card can be used. Sometimes there's a fee to use an ATM that's not at your financial institution, but sometimes there's not if you know which ones to use. So make sure you know where those are. And lastly, look at any other fees that may be associated with the account. Now let's talk about savings accounts. A savings account is kind of like having a really safe piggy bank because just like a checking account, savings accounts are insured by the NCUA. So the account is secure and the funds are there for the future whenever you need them. Savings accounts offer interest, so your money will grow as long as you leave it in the account. And when you have a savings and a checking account, you can actually transfer money from one to the other. And it's really easy to do. So it really does help you save. And you know, when the money's not in your checking account, it's not quite so easy to spend. So it may help you build up that savings a little faster. And of course, anything that's in those accounts can be for a variety of reasons, maybe for emergencies, or maybe you're saving up for a goal like to purchase a house or a car, or it could even be for unexpected things like maybe a job loss. At First Pioneers, you have the option of an ATM card that's attached to your savings account. It's just for your savings though, so it's different than a debit card. This is for use at an ATM only, and of course that money is gonna come out of the savings account. So for the people that choose to have a savings account only, they don't have a checking account, it gives them an option to access their money beyond visiting a teller at the credit union. Of course, there's several different types of savings accounts. Common types are a standard savings, which at a credit union is gonna be called a share account. There's also a money market and a certificate of deposit that you may hear referred to as a CD, and that's what that means. And of course, you can have multiple of any of these account types. You may even have what's called an IRA for your retirement. That is a little bit different conversation, but I wanted you to at least know that it does exist and it is available to you if you were to need it. And again, just like a checking account, we recommend that you visit the different types of accounts that are available and determine what fits your needs the best. Some questions you may wanna consider asking when you're choosing a savings account are, what is the interest rate earned on the account? Does the account require a minimum deposit? Does the account require a minimum daily balance that has to be maintained in the account? Are there any maintenance fees on the account? And if so, are there ways to waive those fees? How can you withdraw money from the account? And is there a limit for the number of withdrawals or transfers out of the account? So to sum up our discussion today, these accounts are different and they have different uses, but there are benefits to both. The biggest being they are a safe place to store and access your money. If you're looking for an account to keep your money, to pay for your everyday expenses, a checking account is a really great choice. If you wanna grow your money and maybe not use it daily, 
A savings account is a good choice. And it doesn't have to be either or. You can have both. In fact, most adults that are at the phase of their life where they're paying bills and things like that, most likely should have both. And having them both at the same financial institution can actually be really helpful. The key is to understand the accounts and see which one fits your needs best. My bonus tip for today, when we talk about accessing your money at your credit union or at your bank, people often think that doing so with a credit union is harder. And truthfully, years ago, that may have been the case. But now, it's just really not true anymore. Many credit unions are part of what's called a shared branching network. What that means is you can do basic banking at a shared branch when you're away from your home credit union. And you can find